guys so today we're looking at the Mavic Air today I'm going specifically over the tap fly feature I can't believe nobody's really talking about this yet um, I think it's because tap fly has been out for a year but with the latest Mavic Air that came out just a couple weeks ago there are three additional features that you might not have seen before so let's check it out all right guys let's do it super windy so hopefully this will work out okay okay so I'm gonna start out there frame up my shots about what I want to see so let's go into tap fly and you got four options you got forward reverse free and coordinate so I'm gonna do first forward all right kind of tells you what to expect I'm gonna hit okay in the middle of your screen you've got the horizon line it's right in the center of the building what I want to do is do a quick rise shot, um, and that's one of the cool things that you can do with tap fly. So I'm just going to hit up here in the top left of my screen and hit go there. It's going to go four and a half miles an hour, and this will be a perfect little dolly shot. I'm going to record that. do is I'm going to do the reverse tap fly shot. Do a quick tap fly backwards. All right. Let's do that. So now I'm going to go, this is almost like a selfie mode, but the camera gimbal's pointing down so it's slowly arising. And this will be a pretty cool reveal shot and obviously you don't have to you know click on yourself you're just kind of going below the horizon so that it is rising in reverse um, so if you do this right you can do a nice little reveal shot stop record and the rain is really starting to come down all right, so next up, let's try this. Next up is tap fly. And now we're gonna do hands free. And so what this basically does is it'll allow you to totally control the gimbal and the, the yaw of the, uh, of the aircraft. So check this out. I'm just gonna hit go in this direction. And I'm going to slowly pan and see how the target is still as it goes to the right. The aircraft is flying in a straight line. Flying in a straight line as I fly past this building. So I'm kind of trying my best to hone in on the corner of the building. Right? Next up, I'm going to do a tap fly feature. This is the last one, so this will be tap fly, and we're going to do coordinate. And what this basically says is it'll fly to that actual coordinate and then stop. As you can see, it'll fly directly to it, and then it'll stop.
Okay, so as you can see, that was the tap fly feature. I mean, there was quite an enhancement from what was included with the Mavic Pro and what is now available on the Mavic Air. That was a huge step up in the functionality of what you can do with just this one feature. So that's tap fly, which is exactly the same as it was before, but you also have these three additional features which make everything so much easier when you're trying to do a smooth shot for filming purposes. And I think all this is made available just because we now have the addition of the sensors on the back of the, um, of the Mavic Air versus not having it on the Mavic Pro. So that is one definite plus on the Mavic Air to add to the list. It makes it so much easier to, uh, to try these shots out with confidence while you're flying backwards in my opinion. So the coordinate shot, I don't know if I'll use that so much, but the custom shot where you can kind of manipulate the direction of the camera and the tilt of the gimbal at the same time, that's a total game changer. The coordinate shot is, is great just to fly to something and stop. I'm just not sure how much I'll use it, but we'll see in the future. Anyways guys, that's about it for me today. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about the new tap fly features. I absolutely love these. I think they're fantastic with the new Mavic Air. Totally excited about using this more often, especially once the weather warms up and the rain clears out. Good times ahead. So subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future and thanks for watching.